This is Christiane Ho Painter here on Tool Talk Thursday. Got Journeyman Don with me, and he's got a product. What is that product, Don? This is Aqua Coat, and it's magic. It's absolutely magic. So we do cabinet painting, and we do paint cabinets that are oak grain cabinets. And in the past, I've used the product in the past trying to fill oak grain that was messy, grainy, gritty. Mm -hmm. um, we had to use mineral spirits to thin it. It was just a nightmare. And I've used some other products and never really liked them. We ended up um, finding this product from this company, AquaCoat, and we really like it and it actually works. So um, what are some of the characteristics about this stuff, John? The beauty of this is that it, it's water-based, which is kind of unusual for most grain fillers. So um, one, you can use it in places like California, New York, and New Jersey because it's safe. Apparently, something like that. It's safe. But it does, it dries clear. And so I think originally uh, this product or one of the big reasons it was made were for things like uh, guitar tops Guitars. where it had to be perfectly smooth, just glass top, um, but they had to fill the grain because of the type of wood it was. And so yeah. this stuff does dry crystal, crystal clear. So if you've got a, a clear grain and you're going to be putting a clear coat over the top of it, you can even use this stuff for it and it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah it was originally developed for, like you said, guitars and tabletops for getting yeah. that ultra glass finish on top of it. And it's, it's great because it's a clear product, water-based like you said. It's very easy to use and it dries really quickly and sands very easily. And the one thing about it drying clear and it just not being messy, that, that's a big deal because a lot of the grain fillers out there are really messy and they don't dry clear and they one of them you don't have to sand it but it just gets in cracks and crevices and it's really hard to get out yeah. and get it to just really look good this stuff um, it's easy to apply mm -hmm. sometimes on small things if I'm just doing one cabinet door I just use a credit card mm -hmm. um, what else do we use to apply it with um, usually, they're not squeegees, I want to call, I keep calling them squeegees, but they're like little scrapers, little plastic, uh, like putty knives. Yeah, I call them a squeegee. Squeegee. And they are, yeah, um, I you can buy them, I bought them at uh, the local hardware store and they're using them for like applying um, tinting to windows and stuff. And they're um, kind of flexible knives. So they, they work really good. This stuff um, is a paste. So right here it's a paste, doesn't fall out. So it's really thick and it goes a long way. This right here, it's almost empty now. How many cabinets and how much work do you think we've used this stuff on? You know, obviously it's gonna depend on how big your cabinets are, but if we're going with an average kitchen cabinet, it probably has what, like 30 doors oh, and maybe about 30 doors. 10 to a dozen drawers. Um, for something like this, we can usually do three cabinet sets with it, give or yeah. take. And that's something on cabinets we typically upcharge for, right? If we're, yeah. we're gonna be filling grains, we explain, hey, here's the process, here's what it is. If you want us to fill the grain, it's an upcharge, but we can do that and we use this product for it. Yeah, a full set of cabinets, we typically charge about $400 to do the grain filler process because it is you know, a little bit more to the cabinet making process or cabinet painting process. It takes several hours to do. So some of the characteristics about it, like John said, it is water-based, it's eco-friendly, it dries in here 35, 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. You apply it right over the top of the stain. Mm -hmm. Do you need to prime over the top of it? You do not need to prime. So you go, the lacquer go right over the top of it. It's amazing. Oh, no, that you do need to prime. Sorry, my bad. You don't need to prime before putting this on. So Oh, that's you, right. You, you can put this on, you can do a seal coat and then you can apply it. But um, for like lacquer, what we do with the lacquer, I would prime over the top of that before I'm putting the top coat. Yeah, on. that was my, my bad. It's all good. Um, we put our um, primer, top coat or primer, what do we call it? It's the, the um, primer uh, surface or sealer. Primer surface or sealer. It goes right over the top of it. And we typically do two coats, mm -hmm. um, surface or sealer over the top of that. And then we do two coats of our um, lacquer coat. Um, easy cleanup because it's water base. Um, it says ideal for tabletops, pianos, cabinets, guitars, and wood instruments. Mm -hmm. So there you have, we do sell it in our store, don't we? We do sell it in our store. So you can buy pints, quarts, or even big gallons of it if you've got lots to do. And they even ship with squeegees or putty knives or whatever you want to call them. Whatever you want to call it. Applicators, plastic applicators. So it's one of those products that we like well enough that we've decided to sell it in our own store, mm -hmm. on our Paint Life store. So go to um, our store at theidahopainter.com. Check out our Paint Life store. It's right available there. It ships directly from the manufacturer directly to you. So if you want a really good grain filler, one that we believe in, that we use, here you go. It's yeah. from Aquaco. So right there.
and we have a video that you've made using it and actually applying it. So do check that out if you've got some questions with how to put it on, what it looks like, things like that. Um, there'll be a little linky here for it. Right in a real world setting, we are um, using it on a whole set of cabinets. So you can see that process, how we went about using it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time we come out with a new video or when we go live. We go live every Monday night on YouTube just to answer your questions. Ow. <laughs>